Fashion companies currently rely on making lots of new things um, and selling them and then hoping we buy more. And as we create space to buy more things, of course, lots of it gets thrown away or discarded. So if fashion companies were to concentrate on, for instance, making a garment that they could take back and remake into something else, they would still have the income but they wouldn't be creating the waste. We are looking at challenge-oriented innovation networks, also known as COIN. The purpose of COIN is to bring together UCL's community, introducing them to external partners to look at various challenges of today. With this particular event, we decided to look at circular solutions in fashion by partnering up with Liverpool John Moores University, Barclays Eagle Labs, UCL's Institute of Global Prosperity and the Institute of Making. We were approached by University College London to participate in a fashion hack challenge, which is to work on a series of techniques to kind of repurpose existing garments. We were doing sort of different techniques with creative pattern cotton, and it was the whole point of where we were using every bit of the garment. It's a lot of that sort of subtractional pattern cotton, sort of zero waste. So our students today are working in small groups with some post-grad students from UCL. The garments were supplied by one of our partners, Seven Store, which is a concept store in the Baltic. We also wanted to partner up with a team of experts to look at the challenge in more detail by having a panel discussion to really spark more conversations around sustainability. I'm here to kind of introduce some creative ideas about how you might be able to use 3D printing or laser cutting in innovative ways. We work with a lot of industry-led expertise to be able to close the gap between tech and traditional sectors. I got asked to join the panel to sort of represent entrepreneurs in the circularity space who are really sort of trying to change up the way that things are done or essentially solve inefficiencies from the consumer standpoint. What's nice about today's event is we've got a bit of a panel and a chance for a discussion and to set a kind of tone and get people thinking, but then we've got a practical workshop, which is really important because not only will conversations happen over doing, actually it's equipping the participants to then go out with new skills into the world and kind of practice what we preach. I think it's interesting that we had a mix of attendees at today's event because everybody's coming from a different background. I know, for example, that some of my students, they're social entrepreneurs already. And then you have the undergraduate students who are coming up, who are learning about fashion. In Indonesia, the wedding industry is really huge. We produce a lot of gowns in just one year and people only wear it just once. Today I learned a lot about sustainable fashion from other perspective. The inspiration for this event came from the Institute of Making's blog. It was a blog post written by Freya Masood all around sustainable pattern cutting techniques. In my blog post I was looking at how pattern cutting can be the place for innovation in fashion design and today it was really interesting seeing how that's actually coming out practically, how the design process can be influenced from the pattern cutting stage. It's really important that an event like this brings together people from everything from industry and small and large scale industry to students who are the future employees or owners of companies to the academics who are kind of interested in maybe the slightly more abstract problems that we're facing. It's important that an event like this has many different voices around the table. I think it's a really powerful setup that was created today.